There are 57 candidates in this new recruitment class, and OPD says it's the most diverse class yet. This program isn't for the faint of heart. Their entire worldview is about to change and probably already has changed here in the first 15 or 20 minutes of the academy. During the next few months, these men and women will learn the ins and outs of police work and what it takes to build trust in the community. Police Chief Tosh Motter explained it won't be easy. You're going to be misunderstood at times. You might make a mistake and have it be merely a mistake and have your motivation supplied for you. With the current climate towards police officers nationwide, learning to navigate those situations has become extremely important. I've been a police officer 28 years now, two different agencies, and I would say there's been no, no more difficult time uh, to be a police officer uh, than right now. But Omaha police say this class is a reflection of the city they will one day protect. That's important because we, you know, obviously we have to, we have to uh, represent the the community that we serve. But not everyone will make it. Because at the end of the day, not everybody can do this job. Not everybody's well suited for this job. And, and probably some of these people will not make it through to the end. They'll either wash out physically or mentally. The next 23 weeks will be trying for these recruits. But once this process is over, that's when the real work begins. And they begin their field training. For now reporting in Omaha, Lauren Scott, KTV Newswatch 7. Now the candidates who make it through training will graduate next March. The Bellevue City Council tonight will vote on whether to ban smoking at all apartment complexes. It's an update on a story we first told you about earlier this month. The proposal prevents smoking at apartment complexes and also bans all outdoor grills. The city councilman introduced the ban after watching the second gateway apartment fire. Again, the Bellevue City Council voting on this, this ban tonight at their meeting. Part of the reason ConAgra moved its headquarters from Omaha to Chicago, well, the CEO wanted a fresh perspective for the company. The company just bought a Chicago brand that made fresh famous. Okay, KETV News Watch 7's David Earle is live with the latest. David? Julie, this afternoon, the Chicago Tribune reports ConAgra bought the Frontera Foods brand. It's the label run by celebrity chef Rick Bayless. They do high-end chips and salsa you can find in supermarkets. Conagra is not saying how much they paid for the brand, and Bayless keeps his very popular restaurants in the deal. I've talked with financial advisor Ted Bridges today here in Omaha. His firm owns some Conagra stock. Bridges says this is a good move, a move to get a premium brand for Conagra. He thinks the company's long struggled with having good, high-quality brands as part of its portfolio. One of the reasons Bayless decided to sell, well, he just wasn't ready to have the Frontera brand all over the country. They were running into some supply chain issues, and if there's one thing Conagra knows well, it's supply chain. More of the story from the Chicago Tribune on my Facebook page. Rob? All right, David, thanks. Berkshire Hathaway investors will once again be able to watch online as Warren Buffett answers questions at next year's annual shareholders meeting. Yahoo Finance announced today it will again live broadcast the meeting. Roughly 40,000 people made the trip to Omaha this past year to listen to Buffett and Berkshire Vice Chairman Charlie Munger answer questions. Online, Yahoo Finance says the meeting attracted more than 1 million viewers. You ready for tonight? Mm -hmm. It's what some are calling the biggest presidential debate ever. And we preview tonight's showdown, hearing about concerns from both campaigns. Plus, debate experts tell us what happens in these showdowns may actually not have an impact on voters' opinions. First of all, let's check in with Sean. Well, if you're heading out this evening, enjoying some beautiful fall weather. Lots of blue skies over downtown in the old market. Temperatures in the mid-70s, 76 in Omaha. High today, 77. More of those 70s in my forecast coming up. You're watching Omaha's news leader, KETV News Watch 7, with Rob McCartney, Julie Cornell. Your Weather Now forecast with Chief Meteorologist Bill Ranby and Nebraska Sportscaster of the Year Andy Kendi. Live from 7 Burlington Station, this is KETV News Watch 7 at 6. You are looking live at the Muddy Mo. Actually, it looks pretty blue today because the skies are clear and wonderful evening out there. This shot from our camera at the Lewis and Clark Skycam. All right, it is a presidential showdown, the likes of which we haven't seen in a while. In an hour and 46 minutes, Donald Trump and Hillary Clinton will debate for the very first time on the same stage. And the stakes are high, as high as they get. A new Quinnipiac poll shows the race as a virtual dead heat with Clinton leading Trump by just one percentage point. 
You can watch the debate right here on KETV or on our mobile app. And experts are predicting as many people could watch tonight as those who tuned in for the Super Bowl last year. That's more than 114 million people. Now, the debate at Hofstra University will be divided into six segments. Clinton will go first. Candidates get two minutes to respond. Both campaigns have been airing concerns. All that we're asking is that if Donald Trump lies, uh, that it's pointed out. I really don't appreciate campaigns thinking it is the job of the media to go and be these virtual fact checkers. The audience will be filled with supporters from both candidates and will be instructed to not boo or cheer. 74% of voters say they plan to watch tonight. But most already know who they're supporting. So do the debates really affect the election? A longtime political science professor says they don't make or break candidates. The studies show in political science that there's almost never been a debate that has changed the course of a presidential 